hello welcome back if you're new to this channel welcome if you've been here before welcome back guys guess where i am i'm in barbados i'm in barbados i'm very happy i'm staying with my sisters and today i have all my sisters with me i know this song have all your sisters I have all my sisters with me i'm very excited about that but guess what they're cooking today <laughs> Coco and salmon, one of Barbados' favorite dishes. We're cooking Coco today, and I'm not cooking it, guys. They're cooking it, and I want you to see how it is done. The Bajan way, guys. You think that I can cook, right? My sisters can cook way, way better than me. And I tell them, I said, Listen, I'm on vacation, I'm not cooking, so you guys are gonna cook. So today, my one of my sisters and, and guys i'm not going to be putting their faces because they're not comfortable in the camera they don't want their faces so you may just see their hands okay so but you will see the cuckoo and i'll taste it for you my sister joanne my lovely sister joanne hi is, everybody she said hi she's going to be making the gravy because when you're cooking cuckoo you have to make the gravy first that by the time the cuckoo is finished you put a gravy on the cuckoo because cuckoo is supposed to be hot while you're eating it, okay? So over here, as you can see, she started to prepare the, um, to make the, the vegetables that she's going to be using. So here she has some onions, some tomatoes, and some green Sweet peppers. Pepper and some chives. And some chives that she is going to be using. This is going to go into the gravy. The salmon is going to be, this kind of salmon is going to be canned salmon. This is the wild pink salmon that she's going to be using. And over here we have, guess what guys? Okay. Let me take these, two, these out so you can see them good. These are okras, and this is what goes into the cuckoo okras. But I'll show you again how that is prepared, okay? So, stay tuned for some cuckoo and salmon, guys. And I'll just choose some sweet potato that will go at the side. Okay, you hear that, guys? This is some Barbados sweet potato. Which we will have a slice of that at the side of our cuckoo. I'm excited, guys. I cannot wait to have some of this. Charles is not here right now. He had to go out. He went out with his friends for a little bit. So we're just going to have some fun. Here, make some cuckoo. So stay tuned. All I'm doing, I'm cutting the, the head and the bottom. Because the bottom is going to be the some people you can grate them, whichever okay. is convenient. For fast, quick something, you just, you can grate them. Okay. So she said cutting up the okra, so you cut them up like this. You don't cut them small? Yeah, I'm going to cut them small. I'm just taking off the head. Oh, okay. Just wash them. Yeah. So I'm just taking off the top. Right. She's just taking off the top and the bottom, guys, of the okra, and then she will slice them up smaller. So that's one sister there, Pat Pat. We call her Pat Pat. Hello. <laughs> I call her Pat Pat. She don't want to be on camera. I know, and everybody says she looks just like me. So if you see her, you're probably looking at me because it, I'll say, oh, you guys look so much alike, but she don't want to be on camera. So I'm going to leave her alone. <laughs> Joanne is about to make the gravy. So Patricia is making, see this is teamwork right here. We're working as a team. Joanne is making the gravy. Patricia is doing the cuckoo, so let's go ahead. Let's so get this started. Is some oil in there. Uh huh. I will put. I want my sauce. Put on too. We put the tomato, onion, and this is some garlic as well. Chip up. Mm -hmm. So you put everything in one time. So we can put it in there and just like cut. Let marinate. Yeah. Okay. Let marinate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. we Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's how we, we so that's so that's how she gets started with making for the gravy. And Patricia is yeah. gonna you continue want this making it. Um I don't you know. Okay. This is black pepper. Uh-huh. 
And guys, this is anything I tell you with, with Bajans, when Bajans cooking, we no, don't measure yeah. stuff. I know I measure stuff for you guys, no, we don't but I'm not pork. used to that. We don't measure stuff. We just, because they can harvest, they're good at it. They, they're good at, you know, they've been doing this for so long. They harvest and stuff. Pepper, okay. Add some Winchester sauce. Oh, these are things that will help flavor. Yeah. You know, flavor it up. So on the ram, I open. A little bit, A little of, bit of curry. A little bit of curry oh, in my bit. sauce. A little bit of curry, guys. She's adding. They add a, listen, add a little bit of everything, everything. to make the flavor add, just right. You can add what you like to have in it. If you don't use curry, you don't have to. If you don't use black pepper, you know, you just That's add right. what you like. Right. So you will keep right. stirring. You, you don't have stirring. to use the same flavors that she used. Right. I keep stirring. Looks good. Looking good. Is Patricia's um, okras right here that she cut up? And I'm ready now to. I just ready a lot of butter for this hole. She's butter here. She's adding a little bit of butter, guys. Excuse me, you guys. The black pepper. The black pepper made me sneeze. I just sneezed. Don't worry. I w I didn't sneeze near the food. I turned away and it come in my mouth. So don't write me, tell me you can't sneeze in the kitchen, all right? Okay. <laughs> all right, I put a little ketchup. A little ketchup. And keep stir. stir. So now I'm going to add some water. I'm going to add okay. some water for the ketchup. I'm add some water. Okay. As you say, we don't, we don't weigh, we just average and then we Right, right. And when we're making gravy for cuckoo, guys, we make a lot yeah. of gravy yeah. because you don't want to run out of gravy when you're eating the cuckoo because the gravy, the two together will make it taste really good. So you need the extra gravy, so you, you'll put extra water to that. Add okay? A little, a little tip of yeah. right here. Yeah. And I'll tell you guys, there's not one of my mother kids that can't cook, except Ju Julia is the great cook, but she don't like to cook a lot of us, right? <laughs> look at guys, turn around that way, turn around face that up, guys look. These are my sisters right here. Oh, she turned around, tell you not to turn, okay. How she done it on camera, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you see papa you see she looks just like me right she looks just like me look at her look at her look. so cuckoo is about to get started here's the cuckoo i just put in some onion in here to just give it a little flavor right and um as you can see she left some of the okras long without cutting those up and you can do that and put it on the side so you can have that extra okras and everything. She's putting a little salt in there. Yeah, and of course she harvests that. Right, and you'll find that you probably need to taste it because I find that this usually calls for a lot of salt. So when you take you put in salt. Okay, so we're gonna taste this to see to make sure it's yeah. not going to take long either because when two tools, mm -hmm. in two tools, the okras will be cooked. Mm -hmm. So then it will just use this. Now, mm -hmm. as I cook the meal, this will blend in with the meal okay. when I cook in the meal. Okay. She put it in her hand and tasted right. it. Still need more salt. I still need more salt. Not too much because these people here is diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> She, <laughs> she's laughing. At me. And the way when you edit it, you know what to do. Only laugh some, all right, you can leave. <laughs> the way you make me laugh. <laughs> Listen, these people here cooking, but they're having some fun as well. Okay, so that should be enough in there. Yes, I think okay, so. Okay, so we taste that one more time. Just to make sure we taste our food, guys, just to make sure that we have enough flavor to it. You're good? Right, that was good for now. That's good for now. Um, I so. won't cover it too much because it may, I don't want it to boil over. Okay. So I'll probably just, it's not to kind of half it cover yet. it. I'm looking for the sauce when coming. Your, your gravy is boiling, Joanne. Do you yes, need to, yes, is it still yes, good? Yes. Okay, so you see how she well. half covered, guys? 
so that way, as it starts to boil, it doesn't boil right. over. As soon as right. it over, it's half cooked, I will take it off the oh. stove. As soon as I just add in bit by bit as I cook the okra. Okay. Because I don't like, if I cook too much, then the okra is going to turn, the water is going to turn ugly, wrong and ugly. And I don't like it like that. I like it looking nice and... So you're not going to cook it too much. Okay, you hear that, guys? Don't cook your, cook your, your okra too much. Otherwise, Kapil might be wondering, like, why is my cuckoo so dark? Because you cook the oat crisp too much, right, Papa? Pa? Right. This is the gravy boiling. Oh. Uh huh. And I just taste it to see if it wants anything. And Joanna's gonna taste it. We tend to put things in our hand and just taste it like really quickly. Taste it. You need a little bit of something. 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 Okay. So add, add a little bit of something. Add a little something to that. Okay. But it's tasting good. It's boiling good because you will put the salmon and things in there last. As you notice that she haven't put the salmon in yet because right. that's gonna go in last because that don't need to cook that more need to be heated right. up. Just getting it and to a um, flavor the body and a flavor. Yeah, yeah. Don't sounds don't good. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. What I'm going to do mm -hmm. is to put the meal to soak. Right? Girl let me tell you something. Now, go ahead continue I'm gonna talk to you. Listen. I'm just sipping it because you yeah. know these things could be on the shelf for too long and can have a little Low, um, whatever, so you're gonna what? sip it, sure? but guys, I gotta tell you something. Yesterday, I went by this lady, was talking to this lady, and um, I was telling her, you know, I would really like her to make because I heard she makes a really good pawn, and I want her to make pawns so that I could show you guys because I want you guys to have a different perspective of the way I did it. I did it one way. But I want you guys to see other Beijing people cooking it different ways or cooking it, but maybe adding their own twist to it. She said to me, there was this girl cooking on YouTube and I cursed her. I was like, what do you mean you cursed her? She said she added water to the cornmeal. I said, what? Because I asked her, I said, why did you curse her? She added water to cornmeal. Because I, a lot of people do that. You can go straight. Or but you can do this. But right. So she did, I said, listen to I said, listen to me. When you add a little bit of water, guys, to the cornmeal, what happens is it makes it easier for you to I stir it. You're yeah. not hurting your hand. It makes it easier to stir. So I explained that to her. She said, I No. I, I said, Well, you're water. doing it the old fashioned way, which let me my grandmother did it that way. So you gotta do all that stirring by the time you're done, you're nice and hot and sweaty. But if you do it, like the way Pat Pat is about yeah. to do it right now, show them, baby. <laughs> and I did I not even mention this to now. her. I did not even mention this to her. Mm -hmm. Right? So what she's going to do is she is going to just add enough water to moisten it. That's really what I'm doing, moistening it. I'm going to have to get a different thing. Just a little bit of water, just to moisten it. We're not going to add too much water to it. <clears throat> just to soak up, soften up the meal a little bit. And then when you put that in the pot, you don't even need a cuckoo stick, guys. I do. You do, you got cuckoo. You, <laughs> Some okay. people use a spoon, She but need a cuckoo stick, but the, listen, when I made my cuckoo, I did not have a cuckoo stick. I used a, a, a wooden, wooden spoon, spoon. Oh, okay. and it worked perfectly well. But you know what? Any port in the storm. I, any port in the storm, exactly. But I got my cuckoo stick and take that with me. Mm -hmm, Not that I cook a lot of cuckoo, cuckoo, but I and need to take cuckoo. <clears> but at the same yeah. time, the cuckoo stick works according to the saucepan that you have. Because if you have a round saucepan, some saucepans, it really don't, the cuckoo stick don't work really well. But sometimes you can use a spoon. If you're cooking a little bit of cuckoo, like eulerine, you could just use um, the, the spoon and that's mm -hmm. okay. Oh, yeah. The, the, so you see, just yeah. enough, just enough water to kind of wet and moisten the mm -hmm. meal. Instead of cooking, I wash them and put them in there to stew. Yeah. So, so it's sweet potato. Yeah. Finish, you would just peel them and yeah. slice them to put yeah. on the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the reason why, <clears throat> because I can do it with, I've done it more than once with just putting the meal, saving mm -hmm. the meal into the water. Mm -hmm. But what happens is it uses, it uses up too much of the okra water, mm -hmm. and you don't want that. 
Yeah. So when I how I doing it, I just do a little something and just leave it there to steam a little and go back at it. Yeah. Whereas when you don't put the water, you have to be this turn and turn yeah. to get it to take out the lump. Not only that, you, you get less lumps if you do it how I'm doing it now. Yeah. So my friend, if you're watching this video, please don't curse me anymore. I love you, but you see, this is just another way of doing it. So try it this way. Just a little bit of water, not a lot, just to soften up the meal a little bit. It makes it very easy, or I should say very easy. I should say much easier to stir instead of, um, you know, sweating and using your muscles or your muscles, okay? Oh, I love you. I'm cooking cuckoo for oh, people. Here, we're we're actually, my they might only cook use cook cuckoo for maybe one or two persons, so they don't need all this meal that they use. Oh, uh, probably not. And that's a lot of meal, too, that she's... Uh, cooking for a, a group. Uh, she, yeah, she's cooking for a few people, so as you can see, that's a lot of meal right. that she has compared to some persons just cooking for one or two people. Mm -hmm. You see? So, um... See, so just a little bit of water. My mother did it this way too. No, 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 not her. She, she used didn't to do it this way? The old fashioned way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, she did it the old fashioned way. But I like it like this. See, it still look green. It might look I a little see. dark with the yeah. camera, but uh -huh. you can see it's still nice. It looks nice and green. So they cook. The okras are partially cooked. They're not right. soft. So I'm going to take off this right now. Uh -huh. I'm going to use back the saucepan. Okay. So I'm going to put this in another saucepan so you can use this more. Okay. Right? So so I just wanted to show you So how now guys, are. she's going to pour the okra water off. I should that's awesome. a little more. I don't okay. make a big saucepan. No, this is good. She's pouring the okra water off guys into a larger saucepan that she will use back that water. Mm -hmm. Right. Joanne has finished her cucumber. As you see, it has some pepper, some lemon, parsley. some parsley, and some onions was added to that. Yes, please. Over here, she has the her salmon. salmon. So I squeeze some lemon juice. So see, that's, that's the salmon from the can, but we, take out the we jazz it up a little bit. See, to take the rawness out of it. We'll so here, she's juice. squeezing a little lemon juice on it. And then it will add it to the gravy. And then she will add so that we'll to the gravy. So we're going over here. Where you know it's looking like that, mm -hmm. so it would add the salmon. Right. So that one salmon is not enough, so you're gonna add more to it, right? Yeah, we add some more. So she'll add more to it just to make it so everybody can get some of it. Right. And that's how you make a gravy, guys. So guys, the gravy is all done. As you can see, look at that beautiful yellow color there. That is all done. Looks delicious. Now our water is starting to boil, so my girl is about to add her cornmeal. Now guys, this is a lot of cornmeal, which is hard for a lot of people to cook because you have to stir this. That's what makes it easier by her adding that little water to it to make it a little bit easier to stir. Right. This, guys, let me show them this way. This is what we call a cuckoo stick. So that is what you use to stir your cuckoo, okay? I gotta buy one of those and take back with right. me. Right, any forest things yeah. I load on the stove? You want to load on this? And just make sure your stove is on low because you right. don't want you know, it to just stick to the bottom of the saucepan. Right, you, you want have to have the right saucepan too because some saucepans stick and then that would not be the right saucepan for you. Right. So see, All guys, right. even if you don't have a cuckoo stick, I mm -hmm. did it on my channel with a, um, with a wooden spoon. You get a, a nice firm wooden spoon and you can make your cuckoo just like that, okay? If you offer some one cuckoo and it have lumps inside of it, they're gonna talk about you. You gotta make sure there's no lump. So, this is how. So now, what she's doing is adding some of the okra water to that. a little at a time. A little bit at a time and you keep stirring. And basically that's it. This yeah. is it to cuckoo. Right. right. You're gonna keep coming back at it periodically and stir. So I'm not gonna stay up over the saucepan mm -hmm. and stir, stir, stir. I'm just gonna add some more of this okra water in here. Right. Leave it to steam, make a hole there. Right. And yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. That can stand there now and cook. And I'll come back and check on it a couple minutes. Right. Oh, no. Okay. So you see, she put um, the okra water right there in the center, which will go to the bottom, so the cuckoo wouldn't stick. Right. To at the bottom. Side, and at the size. And at the size. And of course, she has her stove on very low, 
But you want to make sure it's low. Right. And I'm so, going to cover it down. So she, And this is the extra okra if you want. The extra okra to put at the side of your cooking. Okay. So okay. this is the sweet potato that she just took off. Yeah. The sweet potato is finished cooking. So we add cold water to stop the process cool. yeah. of cooking so that you don't have like really soft potatoes. And then it will peel it. And, and then she'll it. peel it and slice it. And that's what we eat with our cuckoo. We will eat with our cuckoo. Oh. Oh. Okay. So she just added some more okra water. My mother used to cook cuckoo every almost every Saturday, right? And a lot of people used to eat her cuckoo. You know who used to go for her cuckoo too? Lucine. Lucine loved her cuckoo. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think what it is, my my when my mother passed away, a lot of people say, Oh I remember. I had some, yeah, some yeah. of her cuckoo. She was so yeah. good at it. She used to do cuckoo and tuna on Saturdays. She liked that, yeah. Right now, right now, I'm not seeing any lumps. No see, lumps. you, you see, see little bumps in there. Guys? And you just pull it when you... You can see, if yeah. it had lumps, you will see the lumps right. between there. But right. that don't mean at this stage it can't get in the lumps. I'm trying to leave the bits of okra here until it lands. Mm -hmm. right, so and utilize as much water. Right. Okay. And as you can see, when she's um, stern, you, you kind of go at the edge. Right. You see how she's doing it, guys? I'm pulling it against the saucepan like that. So if you have lumps, you would. That's how you get the lumps out. Mm -hmm. when you and have, if you have strong muscles too. Right. But if you have <laughs> the um. But as I said, you add that little bit of well, water to it. Because right. you're, you're not lumps, seeing any you lumps. See. Mm? So you don't have to worry about that. So she's gonna keep stirring. So we'll come back, guys, when you cook. Right. Because I'm gonna put a little more water in here and leave it to uh, mm -hmm. stew some yeah, more steam. Yeah. And okay. right. This is something that the old people drink a lot of years ago, especially when they were working the crop season, right? The, um, you would see that there were people would go up there with big buckets of mobby and sell them a fish cakes and sell them mobby. And this year, the men would come and drink this because it's so hot. Yeah. This would quench the thirst. So this, this is this is made from the bark of a tree, and it's called mobby. You gotta try; it. it's really good. Very good. That is good. Thank you, Jojo. You Thank you, Joanne. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, so Papa just put in the old presents. Too low. Too high. Too high. I had turned up the heat just now. Okay, so this is like the last stage now? Yeah, coming on to the last stage. Okay, this is coming on to the last stage now. So she put the um, old crust. And it will look different to how it started, as they could see. Mm hmm. Because the meal is cooked now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Just keep stirring it like that, guys. And this is how you cook cuckoo. The Bajan way. That's right. And she's just going to, but as you can see, it doesn't have any lump, but you're going to keep, still keep stirring it. Because mm -hmm. I just okay. put some. Because you want it mellow, too. Yeah. I like my mellow. Some people like theirs that they can cut it. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like it to cut. I like it. I like it nicer. That as you eat it, it kind of like melts in your mouth, mm -hmm. kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. Right. My my grandma used to make the cuckoo that you could take a fork and cut it. We no, that was too. I didn't like it like that. I gotta chew it like that. I know oh. this one is like yeah, almost like metal. slide down. Yeah, no, the older people, you yeah, know, yeah, used to make it more like firm. Right. But this one, the way how she makes it is more softer. That like kind of slide down and your throat. Call almost it mellow. Mellow. We call it mellow when it's nice mellow and soft. Cool. If it's firm, it's not mellow. Yes, right. So. She's about done now, guys. She's about done now, guys. So I will taste it in a few minutes. And I'll tell you exactly what it tastes like. All right, you know it's finished when you do like this, and you stick come back up clean. Oh, okay. You hear that, guys? That's how you know your cuckoo is all done. You put it in there, and it comes back up clean. Hmm. You still have to turn off? Yeah. Okay. 
And I just add a little water so just to keep it moist and take it out. Yeah. Okay. Well, See? I'm ready to eat. Yes. I am ready to eat. Right. Mm -hmm. To get it in the bowl nicely from the saucepan. Now she's going to serve, guys. So oh, anyway, they're just showing them how to eat. Yeah. So what she going to do? I just put a little cocoa water, water, water in uh -huh. here. Okay. Right. So that when it go in here, it won't stick. Okay. And then you put the cuckoo in there. Uh -huh. Oh, that cuckoo looks good. All right, see, so it's done. Mm -hmm. All right, sis. <laughs> Start All right, sister. Mm -hmm. All right, Patty. What do you All right, we we'll, we'll address it. That that's okay. Mm -hmm. Cause it must look really good, nice and presentable. Mm -hmm. It ain't come out of here too good. Well, it's okay. At least I get the idea of how to take it out. Because I know like my gram used to put a little butter. Yeah, you can do that, but the gravy. Also do butter. Or the gravy. Yeah. And then you put you put a dent on this in the center. That's right. what you did, right? I did that, yeah. Right. And you put then you put your gravy in there. I got, I got another spoon up there. What is it? Here, right. Mm. So now, guys, she's going to put some gravy on top. And the cookie. That looks good. Some salmon there. Right there in the center. That looks delicious. Tomato. And that's your cuckoo, guys. Now we're going to give this to Joanne over here. And Joanne is going to put the other stuff to it. Oh, this looks nice. Yes. Here we go. So Joanne has here some okras. Some She's okra. going to put a couple okras. Okay. And, and that's a choice, guys, if you like it. A little sweet potato. Yeah. And a cucumber. <gasps> oh, my goodness. See guys, I gotta come home off more often. My sisters take good care of me. I love it, love it, love it. And I'll get you a fork. She gets me a fork. And that's you. And this yeah, is cuckoo. my cuckoo. This is my lunch, guys. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it and tell you exactly what it tastes like. Guys. Cuckoo is all done. Here it is. It looks so yummy. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go ahead and taste it for you and tell exactly what it tastes like. And I'm sitting outside in the back, guys, where there's a nice breeze on the patio. It's missing something. You know what's missing? Hot sauce, hot pepper sauce. I we forgot to add that. We have pepper sauce. Here. Yes, but other than that, guys, I this, the pepper sauce for wait you. a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Wait a, guys, just like this, this is how we make cuckoo and Barbados. Yummy, tasty, just like this. I'm gonna add some pepper sauce to this. I'm gonna sit back here and enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining me. I had fun and I hope you guys have fun as well. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Guys, I'm in Barbados. I also have another channel that's called Tina Rain's Journey. And I'll be putting videos of things, activities, and things that I'm doing on Tina Rain's Journey. Go over to Tina Rain's Journey, guys. Give me a subscribe. Give me a thumbs up so I would know that you were there. Guys, I had fun, and I hope you have fun as well. Until next time. Bye. Bye-bye.